How's it going everyone? My name is Lunar and in today's video I'm going to go over 5 ways to improve your aim in CSGO. This video was mentioned in the comments by Kareem and he asked me how I personally train my aim. If you have any other tips and tricks you'd like to see in CSGO then be sure to leave it in the comment section below and if this video helped you out as well let me know down in the comments that's what these videos are really made for. Now let's hop into this video. The first way to improve your aim in CSGO is to practice your hand-eye coordination. Hand-eye coordination for some can be a struggle, for others it may, may seem very natural. Either way, still continuing to train something like hand-eye coordination is huge, especially with a game like CSGO, as all of your aiming pertains to hand-eye coordination. I use Aim Booster, which will have a link down in the description below, and you'll also see it on screen. I recently went blind in one eye and had to retrain my hand-eye coordination due to the change in depth perception. You all might not have a crazy and extreme circumstance like this, but training with Aim Booster has helped me tremendously with my actual in-game aiming. Another way to improve your aim in CSGO is to find the perfect sensitivity for yourself. That may sound very trivial, but many people tend to copy pro player sensitivity because they have seen them being successful and feel it could help them be successful as well. And although that is not true for every case, I mean, it definitely can happen, but following the link in the description to CS Sensitivity Finder can help tremendously as it helps you find the best sensitivity for yourself and what you actually perform better with. It has you use your current sensitivity as a base starting point and using the workshop map Training Aim CS Go to help you see what sensitivity you personally perform better with. Once you have found this sensitivity, you don't want to constantly change it when training your aim you want to keep everything as controlled as possible so changing your sensitivity your dpi or resolution or just other variables that can get in the way and it's only going to set you back from improving the third way to train your aim which you will hear in every video even if you watch another how to improve your aim in csgo video after mine that you need to warm up I'm guilty of not warming up or always following the same warm up routine. When I don't do this, my first game might be great, but then shortly after, I'll fall off and I'm not hitting the shots I was hitting, and I'll play very inconsistently compared to if I warmed up. Warming up might feel very tedious or annoying, but in any sport, warming up is key. Take baseball as an example. Before a game, you'll warm up whether you're grabbing a teammate and playing catch, hitting some balls off the pitching machine, or if you're a pitcher, practicing your pitches with a catcher, which you're constantly doing, especially before you take the mound. Now, this leads into the fourth tip to improve your aim in CSGO, and that is through repetition. Repetition creates muscle memory. Now you can create good habits and bad habits with your muscle memory, and that is up to you personally to find what good habits you currently have and what bad habits you currently have. And taking the time to correct those or find those through watching previous games and analyzing what you could do better. Now as far as repetition, you wanna create a warm up routine or find a warm up routine. How long you warm up is really up to you, but personally, I'll start with using the aim booster then go into training aim CSGO and warming up with the dots, which is very similar to aim booster, honestly. And then I will hop into aim bots and put it in one isolated section and train with that and then put them on the random ADA movement and continue as it will help me with hand-eye coordination and landing the shots on moving targets because we all know your targets are not going to stand still. Now, after that, I will hop into a game or I'll hop into a death match or I'll use another workshop map recoil master to practice my spray pattern. The more repetition you create, the more consistently you'll see yourself perform. CS goes all about being consistent, but with repetition, what I found helps the best is take minor breaks before changing into the next thing you use to warm up. So changing into the next workshop map, changing into deathmatch, it really gives you a second to relax and also helps your brain digest what you just did and what you were working on and why it w was working for you. Now, the fifth and final tip to improve is what all these tips really lead up to, and that's building confidence and really taking advantage of the confidence if you're having a great game which everyone has had you feel more confident so you take more gunfights you go for the shots you might not always take and you'll hit them and that will only fuel the fire until before you know it you're the one making the plays you're the one getting the frags or you're clutching that insane clutch to get your team the victory that confidence only propels you forward to winning more games and hit the shots you know you can hit one way to help with confidence is to not only do the four tips listed above, 
But in CSGO, where a minor incident can turn the game around completely, you need to block that out and focus on the round you're in and focus on getting that next frag and winning that next round rather than dwelling something on the past rounds that you can't change. Now, after the game, definitely go back and look at those areas where something went wrong and think about what you can do either now in the moment to fix that mistake or train or practice to fix that mistake or next time when you're in that situation, what you can do to improve on and fix. Now, improving your aim in CSGO is something that takes time. I myself am still trying to find new ways to improve. I'm no pro player by any means, but I'm continuously improving. And if I continue to improve and put the time in, who knows what can happen. And that's the same for everyone out there. Now, if you have any other tips or feel I missed something, let me know in the comments. And thank you all for sticking around to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments if any of these tips helped you out or if you already use any of these tips. My name is Lunar, and I'll catch you all with another video next time.